Nigel Bocock, what are your memories of him? Yeah, well, Nigel, I mean, I've got to say, Nigel, he was he was 100% for Coventry, he was 100% for England. He was a really, really good ambassador for the sport. Um, I, I had my first Aussie trip with Nigel, and, you know, and I think he just gave us, me and a lot of other people, a good boost in Speedway. It furthered our careers like, by just giving us that dose of be away from home for six months, International Speedway, you know, which we never really had done before. And I, I think Nigel was probably better in Aussie than he ever was in England. Um, he used to win on those, on those really big tracks. He, he was always winning, where here he battled harder. You know, if, you, you could never discount Nigel. If, you know, if he was on, made the start 10 yards from the finish line, he'd still be there, pushing and pushing, you know. And I think he probably made, well, he passed more people than, than even probably Mark Loram in, in, in modern days, you know. And um, He was a battler and I think very, very good for, for British Speedway. You know, he, he, we had some, some good times, some funny times, you know, and I've probably said it before, but... You know, at one stage I was following Nigel at Coventry. Uh, we were going down the straight on probably the second or third lap, going into the third corner. And he just put his left arm out. Well, when in speedway, that's just a matter of that there's something's going wrong. If someone's hand comes up or arm goes out, there's something going wrong. They're seizing an engine and you automatically take evasive action. So I took evasive action and went to the right. Nigel kept going and... You know, I thought, well, what was that about? Anyway, I, he went off, I still finished second, come back into the pits, and I, thought, I said, what, what was your problem there then, Nigel? He just laughed, and he went, just telling you I was turning left rider, you know, he said, like, and like, you stand there, and you think, well, how ridiculous was that? But that was that was the sort of thing he did, you know, and, you know, you, well, once bitten, twice shy, he didn't do it twice, but I've got to say, I did use that myself, after that, a couple of times that you know that worked. He called you rider. He called everyone rider because you know if when we was on any Aussie trips and whatever else, there's seven blokes who he's not with all year, and he just didn't know our names. He couldn't remember our names, so everyone he he spoke to was rider. You know, but that's how Nigel was. He was, yeah, he was a brilliant bloke, a brilliant team man, and well, not just that, a brilliant. Ambassador for Speedway in general. He was also brave to moment because he, yeah, I mean, he, had, he had some horrendous injuries that he bounced yeah, back from. that he came back from. He came back from a lot of horrendous injuries. I mean, uh, right at the end, I think they were getting the better of him. But, you know, during his career, he was British number one against, well, with the likes of Brio Major, all that lot were about. And, you know, he was beating them quite regular. So, I mean, you can't say that he wasn't good. He was good. He was very good.